The term polymorphism means occurring in several or many forms, or alternatively appearing in different forms at different stages of development. And in pathology, polymorphism generally refers to the changes seen in cells. A couple of pathological conditions characterised by polymorphism include polymorphic B-cell hyperplasia. This is a change seen in infectious mononucleosis and polymorphic post-transplant lymphoproliferative disorder or PTLD. This is an example of polymorphic B-cell hyperplasia in a lymph node from a patient who had infectious mononucleosis. It is polymorphic because the hyperplastic B-cell infiltrate comprises primitive cells that are immunoblasts, immature plasma cells and mature plasma cells. The cells we are zooming into are immunoblasts. And these have got large pale nuclei with very prominent nucleoli. This field contains immature plasma cells with fairly abundant deep pink staining cytoplasm and dark nuclei. And here is a collection of fully mature plasma cells with their eccentric nuclei with the cartwheel pattern of chromatin and purplish cytoplasm. So these cells are polymorphic because they are the same cell line but showing different stages of maturity. The spermatocytic tumour of the testis, also known as spermatocytic seminoma, is another good example of a tumour characterised by cells exhibiting polymorphism. There are three types of cells that are small cells resembling lymphocytes, intermediate sized cells, and enormous cells. So because the variation in the size of these cells occurs at different stages of development, they are described as polymorphic and not pleomorphic.